Welcome to your Corridor lesson of the week. Today we are going to play James Bond music. <laughs> No, we are not going to play James Bond, but we still are going to study a chord progression that is most associated with the music of James Bond. But the secret is that it's been used in almost any genre of music, in video game music, in movie music. It's used everywhere in more subtle ways, maybe less assumed than the James Bond theme, but we can use it in many other ways and we are going to take that and transfer it to ambient guitar. So the chord progression that I'm talking about is using a minor chord, making it a minor sharp five chord and then a minor six chord. So to learn it, we are going to uh, take the key of E minor because it's the easiest just play your E minor bar chord from the seventh fret. You know that one, right? Here. And then you need to remove your index finger barring because we don't need it. Instead of playing our E note here, we are going to use the open sixth string. So that leaves you with your ring, pinky, and middle, but we just need to replace them with your middle, ring, and index. You follow me, right? So now you have a more comfortable position like this. And you don't play the fifth string. Okay? And now the only thing that's going to change in our progression is the fourth string. It's going to move chromatically one fret at a time. So it's going to be like that. On the fourth string, ninth fret. Then tenth fret. Eleventh fret and coming back in. So it does like that. So you really recognize the progression of James Bond in it. And basically what this course progression is doing is taking a minor key, in our case E minor, reinforcing the minor key with that note here. But when we play the minor six here, we touch a little bit a Dorian color to it. And then we come back. So it's to give a little color, a little Dorian flavor, a little color note inside of your progression to give more interest. So now since the only note that is moving is this, is this one, We could easily, for ambient guitar, make a drone out of the two notes that remain that do not move, the E note and the G note, and make a drone out of it. If you don't know how to make a good drone effect, I have a quick tutorial for you here. And then you can drone that. And you could play that moving note inside or on top. So it could be a nice application for ambient guitar, but it still sounds too much like the James Bond theme, isn't it? So what we could do is to change the function of the chords Instead of always playing the low E note here, we can change the chords that are underneath it and that could create our own chord progression. I could do something like this.
So what I did is that I took the moving note, but I didn't stop here, I continued until it resolves. And then I changed the chords that are behind it to create my own chord progression. So the chords that I've used is E minor, C major, A dominant seven, which is one of my favorite. If you've watched a lot of lessons, you know that I absolutely adore this chord as the major four chord. Then a D suspended four, that doesn't resolve, it just goes to a B dominant seven sharp five. Really spicy jazz chord. I won't go into much detail on why these chords work, but it resolves well to the E minor chord. So instead of playing whole chords like this, we could just uh, use some regular spread triads like this, E minor, C major, a major, D major, and B major. If you have a hard time knowing how to uh, build spread triads like this, I recommend to take my free mini course, first link in the description box. So now I could still drone my changing notes, but play some ambient swells with my spread triads like this, and we will be a little bit farther than the James Bond theme. So this was an idea on how to take the James Bond chord progression, the minor, minor sharp five and minor six progression and make an ambient guitar something out of that. So I hope you liked the idea. If you liked the lesson, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to learn more about spread triad and how to play ambient chords, take my free mini course. It's the first link in the description box. It's a great resource to learn those kinds of chords. And until next time, guys, au revoir.